Good morning, folks. We're here at Goat Refuge, Gambia Lakes, and we are busy this morning so far clearing a section of woods growth. There's a 75 foot wide channel we're cutting to a big area of woods. We're not cutting it completely, we're leaving some of the largest oaks and uh, all the other precious plants, any sourwood, any uh, larger, beautiful sparkle berries and just a collection of others but we're just getting a lot more sunlight in there and there's plenty of greens here towards the um end of the year here it's the 24th of december today and um this is the place we live folks there's greens year round out here so we have goats penned down especially here on a weekend here most are enclosed as the hunters are out but they're out all the time this time here so the goats are pretty much locked down with no chance of going somewhere else uh because they're they're lured by those guys putting the feed out for the deer and all so we got to keep them locked down which means hours and hours and hours every day there's time spent cutting greens in the woods which we need to do anyways and we're feeding our goats, keeping them healthy. They get other supplementary feed, of course, but you know, there's nothing as good and wholesome for them as these natural plants. And right here, we're focusing on trees and shrubs and some vines. So they'll eat this up in no time. I'm going to go do some tilling and then I'm going to go back and get some more. I cut. I cut a lot, and it's all by loppers. The first stage we always do with loppers. We want to get all the smaller stuff down at bases and all. You don't go crazy with a chainsaw right away. The chainsaw is reserved for the larger diameter uh, tree trunks and such. And uh, We do not overuse power out here, folks. We use human power. We don't burn a lot of gasoline and... I don't have any of those electric saws. It'd almost be nice to have a battery operated saw, but um, not into those yet, folks. Um, don't know when we, if ever, we would, because, you know, it's the physical body needs some exercise too, you know. Human beings need to work. Or they just become lazy couch potatoes. Like that pile of compost right there. A lot of humans, they, they look like that. They're just sitting there and rotting. <laughs> Anyways, oak. Yopon holly. Oh, a lot of great greens here for them. Why do we cut the oak? Well, there's spindly oak. There's lots of spindly oak that has grown up in the woods and they'll never become big trees. They're shaded out in there and there's plenty of oak out there. We're, we're setting up so that those Big oaks, the, the biggest and strongest can become bigger yet, bigger and stronger, and um, make a beautiful woods. We like the woods that you can walk, walk along in, and uh, many of these woods will have understory plants still intact, folks. We don't remove all those like some people do. <laughs> 